Well, the pieces have to be glazed. When did you start doing pottery? Well, it started a um, long time ago. It was 1973. I have a friend's mother who was into pottery. I just enjoyed what she was doing. And so I took one class and I thought this is kind of fun. And I joined a group of potters and we were helping each other to learn how to throw on the wheel and do hand building and working with the kiln. This is the kiln, yep. And it has electric coils all the way around it. And then I also had adult classes, and then later they needed someone to teach children's pottery, so I ended up having about 20 children each week. I really learned to make pottery by the students that I taught. Funny story, I was in class for my master's degree, my professor. I went up to him and I said, I was your son's pottery teacher. He said, oh, you were the one where my son graced our house with about 20 or 30 pieces all over the house. I think it's centered now. Once it's centered, then I can start shaping it. I'm going to go down as far as I can without going through the bottom of the pot. I'm going to try and make a bowl out of it or a vase. I'm not sure what I'm going to make. With pottery, it's just a world of exploration. I really enjoyed making something out of a lump of clay. It's just fun. I become mesmerized with the clay. Sometimes I spend more time just letting it move through my fingers and see what happens. When you start working on a pottery wheel, you have to sort of be centered with yourself. You have to have a calming effect working on the wheel. On days I was out of sorts, it just wasn't working. I have a kick wheel, which I love because it, it's so relaxing to be kicking away and I sort of lose myself in my thinking. When I use the kick wheel, it's more meditative. I really feel connected. I have electric wheel too, but it's not as much fun. I don't use it. <laughs> now, out of this, I could make a pitcher, put a handle on it, put a spout on it, or if it's a vase. But I want to make sure I get all the colors that he wants. I'm going to put purple in there. When you glaze, then you never know, because I've had a lot of failures, and which I thought were failures. But as I look at them, some of the biggest failures have become, I don't know, just more interesting. Oh, I loved to open the kiln. It's like Christmas. You develop your own styles. And now people who know me know that that's my piece that I've made. I think I've been an artist. I never thought of myself that way early on, but now as I'm looking back, I feel like I've been quite artistic. People have told me that too. I just enjoy making things. If people have appreciated my pieces and seen them as art, I think it's wonderful. <laughs> and I enjoy when people enjoy my pieces.